Joining us today in studio is Tom Burnett. He's here to talk to us about art therapy and a number of other art projects he has designed. It's all part of a venture called Tom's Drawing Board. Thanks for coming in, Tom. Thanks for having me. Of course, we're here to talk about art therapy, but mm -hmm. also another question that we have is, I mean, art is very important, but how much do you think it should be offered as a vehicle for self-expression? I think it should be offered as a vehicle for self-expression any chance it can get. Um, using art to express yourself is one of the many ways that uh, is healing to the soul. It, it gets your uh, vision across, it gets your feelings across, your emotions. Um, art therapy in itself is a great way to um, have people get in touch with their inner self as well as expressing to the world what they're feeling inside. And still related to that, as, as far as your approach to um, people that are, you know, trying to cope with something in their past or some sort of trauma, um, is, there, is there a different way for you to go about this so that they can have this as a vehicle for therapy? Sure. There, there's different ways that you can go about doing it. There's not really, a, a, in my opinion, not a set list of ways to do this. It all depends on the individual. I've had soldiers come in to my studio uh, painting for a couple hours, and they said it was the most peaceful uh, two hours uh, they've had in a long time because of PTSD and using that art really helps them to just kind of focus on what they're doing and forgetting about all that other stuff even if this is for a little while and it's, just, and it's soothing. It must be fulfilling for you though too, right? Oh it is, yeah. I never really understood the, uh, when I first started this, understood how soothing it can be for people that have like PTSD or suffering, suffering emotional difficulties. Um, but after doing this for such a long time now, it really has brought me to the focus of, I really need to offer this mm -hmm. to people that have these issues because if it can help in a little bit of way, then I mean, wow, what, it, it's impactful. Wonderful. Yeah. And then when do you think is probably the best age to start developing like an artist's skills and then what kind of advice do you have for them to further develop those skills? You could start as soon as they're able to hold a pen or a pencil, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, if you see a child starting to draw, encourage it. I, I highly recommend encouraging it and make sure that you, you praise their drawings, you know, praise them. Even, even if it's a, a, a little stick figure, praise them and tell them what's good about it and encourage them to improve on it. You know, say, hey, keep drawing and soon you'll get better and better and better. And uh, telling them to practice, practice, practice will always instill that, that need to want to grow as an artist. And that can be used in life in itself because if you keep encouraging people to do anything, they're naturally going to get better at it. Definitely. And then how do you approach instruction with people who are trying to seek art therapy? So I, I treat each individual just as they are, an individual. Um, I, I, I try to make sure that they're feeling welcome, one. I try to make them understand that it's a safe place that they're in. I try to make them understand that they don't need uh, a degree in art to really do art. And I just try to make them feel more comfortable. And through art, I think they feel more comfortable as the lessons go. And they tend to open up a little bit more. You know, they feel more at ease with someone. They, they, they feel more apt to, uh, you know, discuss what's going on with them and everything. And uh, not, not to say that you're um, giving them, like, life advice or anything like that, but you're just that you're an ear. You're, you're someone that they can talk to and just get it off their chest. Yeah, so, so in, in a way to sum up, it's sort of an evolution for both parties, for you and the student? Big time, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I have grown so much working with uh, uh, every student, honestly, especially my at-risk children and teens. They, uh, uh, I never understood the need that is out there for them, and I am, I am just blessed to be able to spend the time that I do with them. And if they want more information, the best way to get that is? Uh, they can just contact me at 715-420-1001, or they can find Tom's Drawing Board on Facebook. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, my pleasure. I love having you Thank here. You, yeah. Thanks. And then coming up, we